Here's a letter to us. Beloved Guruji, it is with great longing that I write these words to you. I would so love to be with you and everyone there. You are in my thoughts daily. In these few months since I last saw you, I have felt your love and presence many, many times. My practices are going well for me. It is slow and subtle, but I continue to find peace within. I pray your health is good, and God willing that I will see you soon. My deepest love, Kavita. And here is a poem from her. This is for you, Thanksgiving. These are my thanks that I am giving you for all the times when you have seen me through. For all the times you looked right into me, you reach inside and all my terrors flee. With constant love you silence all my fears, my heart fills up with grateful healing tears. Redeemed once more, the child in me is reborn, and for her right now, there's no need to mourn. It's lovely of her. Beautiful. Good. What shall we talk about today? Can I see you? Move over. That's it. Got a great idea. Yeah. That's brilliance, isn't it? Yeah. I knew I liked you for some <laughs> Beautiful. Okay. And the second question is, if we are not the doer, why do we bear the responsibility for the thing that we do? Mm. Now both these questions are based upon misconceptions. If divinity is omnipresent and within each and every cell of yourselves, Hmm? then negativity is also a product of God. Who said God is just positive only? What we have to learn is to see the positive side of God and portray it in our lives. Hmm? Who can call the rain to be negative and the sunshine to be positive? Hmm? They both part and pass of each other. If you have a cloudy day, who can say that the clouds are not important, although the clouds obscures the sun? Hmm? But without those clouds which the sun itself has produce, produced, there would be no rain, and you will have no food. So. All teachings, good teachings, would teach us to see both sides of the coin. How can you have a coin with one side only? Hmm? You can't even buy a box of matches with it then, if it was only printed on one side. Hmm? Mind you, it would be nice to find a coin with one side. It could become a collector's item. <laughs> Do you see? But our duty is just to see the positive aspects of everything, because everything is positive. Even your negative thought, which you regard to be negative, is underlined with positivity. Hmm? I'm feeling ill today and trembling because of my sugar problem. Okay. But I see a beauty in it. Sir? So, why should I not tremble? Huh? Because of my blood condition, diabetic, so I'm trembling, and what's wrong with it? 
I accept it to be positive. And not wallow. Hmm? And say, oh, this is negative, negative, negative. Hmm? So, although divinity is composed of positivity and negativity, but we want to see positivity only. And the reason is this, that we want to try and be happy. Because there is greater happiness and peace in positivity. And yet the word itself, the opposite of it, unhappiness. Can you see? It's just the un, huh? It's still happy. Right. So, we can negate negativity. Hmm? Just throw away the un. Okay, Ban, just straight away. And that is how we will see within ourselves uh, everything positive, even in that which is negative. Someone slaps my face. Okay. Now that you regard to be negative. But I might be having a toothache, and that slap would perhaps cure that toothache. You see how we have to look at things so that all the negativity that surrounds us or created by our thinking processes, the same energy can be used to bring it into positivity. Hmm? So negate the negativity hmm? and position yourself in positivity. So, everything we feel or we observe, uh, every thought that arises in us can be taken to its true value. For everything is a product of peace. And even in negativity and positivity, peace is there. Hmm? But being patterned, having conditioned minds, people tend to look at the worst side of things. Oh, it's a cloudy day. Uh, yes, I observe the cloudy day. I see it, it's dark and grey, but yet I know the sun is behind it. Hmm? If, you fly, if you fly in an aeroplane, the aeroplane goes beyond the clouds, huh? And then what do you see? Is the sun. So go beyond the negative, so-called negative clouds of life. And that is what our teachings are all about. <coughs> As we read Kavita's letter, she says what she actually means, there's a subtle transformation in her because of her practices, and she always feels peace within. Now that is the condition that has to be created within us by ourselves. Positivity can never exist without negativity, and negativity cannot exist without positivity. But where is your attention? That is important. And that attention is, create the, is created by the mind. And then the mind thinks, I'm the doer. Well, you're not the doer at all. Hmm? Everything in life is done for you. And I've said this many times before. You put in your 10% and the 90% comes automatically. So that little 10%, huh? that's what we need by channeling our thoughts towards betterment, channeling our thoughts towards sunshine. And yet there are clouds in the sky, but the sun, to repeat again, is existing beyond the clouds. Hmm? <coughs> now can we call the clouds negative and the sun positive? No. The clouds are created by the sun. 
Hmm? It is the sun itself with its heat draws a water vapor to form those very clouds. <coughs> and we complain of the gloomy day. Who says clouds are gloomy? Who says your thoughts are gloomy? Your thoughts are positive. Always, but you look at it through gloom. A jaundiced person hmm, will see everything yellow. Hmm? So we get rid of the jaundice of our minds. Hmm? And the greatest jaundice that man suffers from is thinking he's the doer. How can you be the doer? You won't be able to walk from here to that door hmm? on your own without that divine energy that is within you. Hmm? You can't even lift a hand. Dear say. Here we come back to the matter of attitude. What attitude do I have in life? Hmm? And if every thought, positive or negative, has the element of love in it, then that negative thought soon passes away. Remember the same energy you're using hmm? in a positive thought or a negative thought. It's the same energy. Hmm? The emphasis might not be the same. And the emphasis is created by our patternings. So anything that's patterned can be unpatterned. Hmm? It's like taking a piece of string and tying it around your finger. Well, you do it this way, but you can also untie that piece of string. You see? So every pattern of our minds can be given a different aspect to it. And that is your 10% as the doer in practical life. Hmm? The rest, the other 90% is done for you automatically. Now, if he is the doer of everything, hmm? then why should you worry? You leave it to him. You say, ah, God, do what the hell you want to do. I'm not going to care. And when you stop caring of the petty little things of life, you just get into a worst mess. Hmm? So stop being a mess, and stop messing around. Hmm? Life is something so beautiful, it is really to be appreciated. When you appreciate love, a life, then you know the meaning of love. And when you know the meaning of love, you know the meaning of divinity. It's the same. Everything is the same. Hmm? I love a person more, he who hates me. I mean, there's no one in the world that hates me. They love me to pieces. You'd be surprised I'm keeping myself together. <laughs> Keep yourself together through the power of love. Uh, and therefore the scriptures, all scriptures say, love thy neighbor as